Move on to the third on the programme, and race number three, we go up in class here, class four, up to the 1650 as well for the Peach Blossom. While May Baby and Dylan Moe like to roll forward from barrier five, the Sylph drops back into class four company. Great joy and glorious legacy get gear changes, blinkers and cheek pieces going on. Lucky win-win, course and distance first time. See Me Now, place studies last two starts, course and distance. Mars Bonini gets the blinkers back on as well. And Sky Treasure goes up in class, back into class four. He was third on the all-weather last time. Yeah, if you have forgotten Valentine's Day, getting a half-hour reminder every uh, year at the, at the Jockey Club, aren't you? Sky Treasure should go forward in this race, I reckon, over 1,650 metres. He's been doing most of his running at shorter. Master Bernini's got a slightly tricky draw, so he might have to go across. Wame Baby's going to get a lovely run in the race. He's a, a tough uh, nut to crack in these sorts of contests, and he'll be there or thereabouts. Uh, Joyful Park, now he's the one on the far side. Uh, Keen Vents is a lot higher rated than he is. But uh, I thought they were working equally as good. And, and, and Sam Clipperton has got uh, Joyful Park going along quite nicely there on the inside. He's found a little bit of form recently, this horse as well. Uh, th this horse is flying at the moment. See me now. Joe Marrera is aboard. He's just working with a partner horse there. And you can see him just going away from him nicely. Has one off a similar rating from a low barrier draw. So he should start favourite. He is favourite at the moment earlier on. Here's the second, but exactly the same. So it's a bit of deja vu here, but I just thought it was worth showing. The partner horse was actually kicked up a little bit on the inside there, but uh, he was still going a lot the better. So he's a horse who's uh, in good form track work wise at the moment. All right, he is our favourite as well. Master Bernini is where we're going to start along with Wame Baby. Now, this is over the 1800 metres um, last time. They finished second and fourth respectively, but there was inches in it. Yeah, and unfortunately for Master Bernini, he's got a, a much trickier draw to overcome on this particular occasion as compared to his first two runs at Happy Valley. But I think he's gone well enough. He can still consider him. Wame Baby, though, I think he's got every chance because he's uh, he's got the seven pounds off. Dylan Moe has gone well with him. Sangria is a horse that's definitely going in the right direction. He's a very hard horse to pass, Wame Baby. And from gate five, he should be able to bag a good position early. And he's the one they all have to beat for me. Yeah, I've got him in there as well. Just with that uh, seven pound claim as well, it's really going to help him just take that weight off and... He's going well at the moment. All right, see me now. has been going well, both on the track and in his homework. Can he convert all of those things, put them all together for a win? This is his uh, last effort. Well, basically, he's, he's only won once, but he did win off this uh, similar rating. He, he won off a rating of 49. He's now rated 50. He should be three back. He, he's flying in his track work. So he ran a nice third behind uh, contribution here, as you can see. From barrier two, he's going to get every opportunity. So uh, he, he's sort of the one for me. Yeah, Moreira leaps on. Moreira's ridden five times for Francis Loy this campaign. He's won twice. So uh, this, this uh, horse has obviously got a chance. All right, OK. And the Sylph, who gets back in class, he's been running quite well in class three. But back in class four, this is where his sole win has come so far. Yeah, I don't mind him here. He gets uh, quite a, a, a bad rap, doesn't he, the Sylph? He's much maligned, but I think he can go quite well back down into class four. I think the last couple of runs he can easily discount. Uh, Happy Valley, 16.50, good draw. I mean, he doesn't ever really go forward, but he should be able to sneak round the inside, and if the race sort of collapses, at the head of affairs, he'll be able to get into it late. He's definitely one for the exotics. It's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't make it in for me either this time, but who's to say? What, what did you go with, Paul? I'm going to go on with See Me Now. Yeah, probably come out and win easy now, won't he? Uh, I've got and See Me Now uh, on top. I just think he's, everything's going well when this is his race. Uh, why my baby, as John mentioned, very uh, hard horse get past, and he is a Class 3 winner here in Class 4. Uh, Master Benini will give him a chance with the blinkers on and that track work I thought from Joyful Park showed that he's not uh, too far away as well. Uh, Sam Clipperton uh, does know the horse so well now, he has ridden him on a lot of occasions. So it went 7 1, 10 and 5, but uh, I like the favourite in this. I've got the same cue in the uh, different order though. I'm going to go with Wame Baby on top. I think uh, from gate five, he should be able to get a good position. And uh, well, he's had to work quite hard in his last two efforts to get the lead. He won't have to do this time. See me now for obvious reasons. The Sylph I've got in there uh, for third. And Master Benini in for fourth. If he'd drawn better, I'd have been keen on having him higher up. But I still think he'll go OK. But I think Wame Baby, I think he will be an each way price. I think he will get uh, hopefully sort of $1.60, $1.70 on a place line and something decent on a win line as well. So he's the play. All right, I'm going to stick with Master Bernini, um, but I've certainly got to uh, see me now in very similar numbers, actually. The first three races, we've all seen it um, so from a, a similar point of view. But uh, 10, 7, 12 and 1 for the record for me in race number three, which is the first leg of the six-up. So a quick break for us. We'll come back uh, with the fourth, which is the first leg of the triple triangle.